It all starts with a flush, then into the city's thousands of kilometers of underground sewage pipe to the sewage treatment plant. This little guy, the sewer surgeon, helps the city see what is happening inside those pipes, if there are blockages or leaks, all without digging up a thing. The truck has three different types of cameras, depending on the size of the pipe and what they're going after, what the camera they use. Some cameras can pan and tilt, which means they can look at whatever it is going on in there. Uh, Flusher usually goes with one of the vector trucks and they clean the line so we can see everything. We don't want to leave debris in there and not know what that pipe looked like, just crawl over stuff. We want to see what the condition of the pipe is. It prevents bigger breakdowns from happening and also it has a, a meter counter in it, gives the exact measurements of where this is at point and it's a recorded video with a flagging system over so it can be identified what we're saying is there, be it a, a crack, a break, a sag, grease, whatever it is. So that when they're reviewed, they already know what to look at. Modern technology is a wonderful thing, even in what many of us take for granted like our sewage system. All is good until your toilet backs up the CCTV truck saves time, and important to us taxpayers, money. Pinpoints exactly where a problem is. Before we used to go in with the hose, flusher would hit something, we, it, that's where it stopped, they'd lay the hose in the ground measurement and go, that's where we dig. Now when they dig, it can be very expensive, seven to 12 grand. If you miss the hole where you're supposed to dig, you still have to fix the problem, so now you have to dig another hole. This way we're exactly where it is. They also have built-in sawns on them so that the camera can go up to wherever it's broke and we use a locator on top of the ground and it pinpoints exactly where the problem is where the camera's sitting. So you're watching the camera on screen looking at the broke pipe at the incrustation, whatever it may be, and this uh, locator sawned equipment tells them exactly where it is. So when they dig, they're right over top of it. There's no more guesswork. It's like a surgeon knowing exactly where to go after. So remember, the only thing that you should flush down the toilet is body fluids and toilet paper, not even Kleenex or dental floss. Let's do our part to make sure things all go smooth. Brad Walker for Go Edmonton.